Kind regards, today is Saturday, June 8, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, we will be discussing the interaction of several atmospheric disturbances occurring over the Gulf of Mexico and the Western Caribbean Sea. This interaction is associated with the arrival of a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation. And specifically, from the middle of next week, we expect the interaction of several disturbances, including the Central American Gyre, a trough that will develop towards the southeast of the United States, and two tropical waves that will be crossing the Caribbean Sea and reaching the western region by the end of next week. This interaction promises to bring significant rainfall to areas of southern Mexico, Central America, Cuba, and the states of Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama. In this video, I will talk about the most significant rain event anticipated to occur over the southeastern United States, especially in the state of Florida. This heavy rain event affecting Florida and western Cuba is expected to begin on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Here we can clearly see the Central American Gyre, the two tropical waves that will move through this region, and the influence of a trough in the southeastern United States. This will create a very humid airflow that will move from the Caribbean towards the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, where there will be a high risk of flooding for central and western Cuba and the state of Florida. Let's see how this interaction of these disturbances will occur during mid to late next week. Let's look at the GFS model projection. Between Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see that these disturbances converge and create a humid flow from the Caribbean moving over western Cuba and reaching the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and the state of Florida. Also, you can see that the GFS model is developing a low-pressure system between Thursday and Friday of next week, which could have some probability of developing into a subtropical or tropical cyclone. However, regardless of whether it becomes a tropical or subtropical depression, we are concerned about the moisture flow that will move from the Caribbean over the southeastern United States and western Cuba, as this could cause a significant flooding event that could also affect Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama. This low pressure seems likely to remain over the region at least until the next weekend. Here we can see the estimated accumulated rainfall over the next seven days. We can see the high risk of flooding for the entire state of Florida, especially for the southern half and regions to the west and north of Tampa, where it is estimated that between 6 to 10 inches of rain could fall from Tuesday through the weekend. Also, some estimates suggest 4 to 7 inches of rain affecting southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. So here at Hurricane Info, I will be closely monitoring the evolution of this forecast. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Until the next video, 